generate videos from still images using AI. It is now possible thanks to the release of incredible new AI tools and updates. And today I'm gonna show you how. And humans, when we scale your overload, and yes, you heard it right, now you can finally generate videos and animations from just a still image. And for this, as of right now, you can use two different tools. And the first tool is called Runway ML Gen 2. Now, if you don't know what Gen 2 is, well, initially it is a text to video AI tool that allows you to generate videos from just a simple text prompt. And although before you could always use an input image to generate a video, the final generated video will never really quite look like the input image. But that is until now. Because just a few days ago, Runway ML released a brand new update that allows you to use an image as an input and transform that still image into an animated video. And some of those videos created with that technique are absolutely fantastic. From beautiful, to weird, to completely mesmerizing. So yeah, some of those videos created with that new update are absolutely fantastic. And they look gorgeous. And the best part is that it's actually really easy to use. Now to try it out yourself, you can click the link in the description down below, create a new account, and then click on Gen 2 text to video. And although you can use this as a normal text to video, and just, you know, input a prompt right here. So let's say I want something like a cute cat drinking milk. I can then click on free preview, which will then generate four different images of what the future video could look like. And then if I choose to pursue with one of them, let's say I want to generate this video, I can just click on this button right here, and then Gen 2 generate a brand new video based on my text prompt. Now, although in this case it is certainly not perfect, it's still a brand new animated video created just from a text prompt, which is still very impressive. However, this is not what we really want. What we want is actually to take a still image and transform that still image into an animated video. And for this, the only thing that we need is our still image. Now for this, you can either find a real image on Google and then use that image as a base for the video, or you can just generate a brand new image from scratch by using a text to image AI tool like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. And once you have an image that you're happy with, all you have to do is just go back to the Runway ML Gen 2, click here to upload your image, delete your text prompt, Yes, you should not use any text prompt at all, you should only use an image right here, and then click on generate. And then Gen2 will generate a brand new video from your still image, without you having to do anything. And then you get your finished video. <laughs> Just a simple cat drinking milk. Well more or less. Now, of course, this is just one simple example of what's possible. There is really a lot of different possibilities with this. So here's, for example, a bunch of cool things that you can do with this new feature. One really cool thing that you can do, for example, that I think a lot of people will appreciate, is the ability to animate older family pictures. So let's say, for example, you have this picture of your grand grandpa, for example, and you want to see him animated. Well, again, just like last time, you're gonna upload your image, and then simply click on generate. And we get something like this, which, indeed, in this example, you don't really see a lot of movement, but again, it's just like one generation, so if you want to have like a better result, you probably have to do it again and again and again. Kinda a little bit like stable diffusion, when you have to reroll the generation until you have something that you like. And I even try multiple things, and sometimes it creates like this weird results with a bunch of movements, but also some very weird tricks to the image and video, and sometimes it even produces some very, very strange results, like, uh, I don't really know what who this person is maybe he tried to do like a before and after but yeah it's you know you really have to do the generation again and again and again until you have something that you like now sometimes what you have to do if you want to have more movement is to choose pictures where there is supposed to be a lot of movements like for example here you have a young woman walking in a busy market and if i now upload this image and i click on generate it should now generate a video with a lot more movements and this is the video that we get and indeed we have definitely way more movements now although of course it is not like 100% perfect there are like people working backwards for some reason, but as you can see, we have definitely way more movement than before. And I'm sure that if we do the generation again and again and again, we should have something that is much, much better. So yeah, basically my advice, if you want to have more movement in your video, you should choose images that basically implies that there should be movements to begin with, like someone walking, someone laughing, someone dancing, etc, etc. So yeah, this trick is really super powerful if you want to generate some cool videos from your base image. And yeah, I gotta say, this is a really cool tool to play around with. Just generate a cool picture, upload it in Gen 2, and then click generate to create a brand new video from that picture. 
I mean, this is really, really fun. And you should definitely try this out yourself. And the type of videos that you can create with this tool are absolutely endless. There is really a lot of cool things that you can do with this tool. And it's really, really fun to use. But unfortunately, you might have noticed that there are a few issues. And the first issue is the fact that you don't really have a lot of control over the final results. You absolutely have zero control over the video generation. So if you are, for example, a video maker and you want to use that tool for professional use, yeah, that's gonna be pretty difficult. Because if you cannot predict the final result, it's gonna be really, really hard to justify using. And the second problem is probably the fact that it is pretty expensive. Because not only you have to pay $15 a month to use this tool, but if you go over the 125 seconds of generated video limit, you need to purchase more. So if you think that you'll be only paying $15 a month to be able to use that tool as much as you want, well, you are wrong, because you will be paying way more than that. And if you want to have an unlimited video generations, for this you need to pay $95 a month. So yeah, I mean, that is pretty expensive. Which is why the second tool that I'll be showing you today might solve all of those problems. And that tool is called Pika Labs, which is basically very, very similar to Jenna 2, but this time it is completely free. Now, although it is free, keep in mind as of right now, now it is a closed beta, which is why if you want to try out the tool, you need to join the beta to get access to it. And once you do, you'll be invited into a Discord server, where you'll be able to use the tool for absolutely free. Now, fortunately, I got access to it, but obviously, I kind of promised that everybody can. Now, the reason why the tool is really, really cool, and in certain ways, I even find it better than Gen 2, is the fact that you have way more control over the final generation. So, like, for example, to use this tool, you're gonna click here, type slash, and create... You're then gonna click on tab to bring the image options, which will then bring a field where you can upload your base image. So like for example, let's say I upload this image of a lion walking down the street, which is a really cool image that should definitely inspire a lot of movements. But like for example, if I upload this image in Gen 2 and I click on generate, sometimes the generated video might lack a lot of movement. And that is because again, we don't really have a lot of control over the generation. But that is not the case with Pika Labs, because here we have a section for the prompt. And if I input something like a big lion walking down the street and if I press enter we should now have a video with a lot more movement as you can see right here we have definitely way more movement compared to gen 2 and this is something that I definitely like with Pika Labs is the fact that you have way more control over the generation of your video now one big issue with Pika Labs compared to gen 2 for example is the fact that the final generated video looks a little bit different compared to our base image I mean we definitely have way more movement but we also lose a little bit of resistance resemblance compared to our base image. So yeah, as of right now with Pika Labs, this is the price that you have to pay if you want to have more movement in your video. So yeah, although it's not perfect, the quality of the generation is still pretty good, especially for a free tool. And again, just like the Gen 2, it's really fun to use. And you can see that older people are also having a lot of fun with that tool by creating all of these very weird um, generation which I don't even understand what they are but somehow it still manages to create some really cool videos and as of right now even if the tool is pretty new you can still use it to generate some pretty cool videos so yeah I mean if you can definitely try this out yourself now I know what you're gonna say but is there a way to have it for free on your computer is there an open source version of that well the answer is yes and no not really there is something that is very close called Animated Diff that allows you to basically create those really cool animations using stable diffusion models. But unfortunately, as of right now, there is absolutely no way of using your custom images. Now, there was apparently a forked version of Animate Diff that allowed you to use your custom images, but the repository hasn't been updated in like two weeks. And as of right now, I haven't heard a single person that used it and managed to make it work. So unfortunately, I think this is a hoax. So yeah, I mean, as of right now, if you want to generate uh, some cool animated videos with stable diffusion, you can. And they look, you know, kind of decent. But since again, you don't really have a lot of control over the final results, since you have to, you know, generate new videos until you get something that you like, as of right now, I find this a little bit unusable. But if you want to try it out, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. So yeah, there you go. As of right now, if you want to generate videos from your still image, you can either do it with Runway Gen 2 or with Pika Labs, where Gen 2 respects your base image the most, 
but doesn't create a lot of movements and it is a paid service, whereas Picalabs is free to use and does deform your image but also creates a little bit more movement. Although if I really had to choose myself, I would probably choose to use Gen 2. It is easy to use and creates really beautiful videos. And although of course as of right now it's still not perfect, it's still like the first generation of those kind of tools. And as everybody says, this is the worst that AI will ever be. And it will get better and better over the few months. Which is why you should always pay attention to the latest AI news by either subscribing to my channel or subscribing to my free AI newsletter called the AI Gaze. The link for it will be in the description down below. And here we are folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my YouTube and Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you so thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.